This is Tunchen Memorial Trust in a small town called Anara in Tirur of Malapuram district in Kerala state. Tunjat Ramanujam Erutachan he is known for his literary works. He is known as the father of literature of Kerala state. Uh, he has uh, translated the epic called Ramayana into Adhyatma Ramayana Kilipadu. He has made it into verses as if almost sung by uh, the nature itself or the birds itself. So in memorial of that attitude, he is a structure in his memory of a parrot. This is the palm leaves in which he has recorded the translation. And this equipment here is what he has used as a pen. Now this person, Tunjat Ramanujam Erutachan, uh, known as the literary genius of Kerala state, in his auspicious uh, ashram or the campus have structures such as this. A very beautiful design with a lot of ventilation and very close with uh, nature. And this is called Saraswati Mandap. And this is where the sanskara, the culture, where people come from all over this area to, uh, to initiate their children into the realm of education. Of course, any auspicious campus in Kerala will not look complete without a pond and an adjoining temple and a history to the temple. So now we have arrived at the sanctum sanctorium of this auspicious campus of uh, Tunjan Ramanujam Erutachan. Uh, behind me is the Saraswati temple. The Saraswati is the goddess of education and wisdom and knowledge. And so the deity that is uh, the worshipped in this campus is Saraswati. And as is common in Kerala state, there is a tree and a history adjoining to the temple. And here we have a Kanira tree. The Kanira tree is known for its bitterness of the fruit and the leaves. And surprisingly, perhaps because of the devotion of the people here or because of the miracle of the deity herself or even the worshipfulness of the author that is uh, Tunjan uh, Erutachan this tree the leaves of this tree of the species Kanjira tree does not have the bitterness the bitterness by which the species is known, known for Hari Shri Ganapadeye Nama this is the sloka by which uh, young child of about three year old is traditionally initiated into education, into learning. Well, it's customary for people to spread a slab of uh, full of powdered rice or even grain rice and then ask the infant to make an impression of Hari Shri Ganapate Nama into it in the, in the, in the, in that, uh, in the platter of grains of rice. Appropriately, this whole campus, this educational campus uh, attracts a lot of literary genius from all over the state and they have uh, conferences, they have convention and appropriately so they have this small cottage here that can accommodate the visitors and the tutors. A specific, a specific kind of stone is used to retain the ambience of this campus, the kind of stone that is quarried in this local area, available in plenty, using local uh, local talent. They're called red stones. We are now entering the Malayalam Literary Museum, where most of the exhibits will uh, teach us about the origin of the language and its preservation. of huge trees that adds ambience of sattva, of purity, to bring about that meditative experience while visiting this campus. Each of the tree is planted by literary genius, extending their cooperation to creating the ambience here. It's very interesting how the literary genius took part in the ecology, in the flora fauna, and to create the ambience which is meditatively a celebration a celebration dealing from lost of lots of restlessnesses, disharmony, whereas a celebration very linked, very merged with uh, sattva, meditation. 
small visit to a temple in Kerala state calls for a climb and a run, perhaps to make the, the pranayama happen for any meditative experience to follow. So welcome aboard, join the jog, perhaps it's just a, another cardio exercise. The height of literary works in Kerala state was initiated by Tunjam Ramanujan Erutachan and this is his campus.